welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be showing you all how i got this fall all matte neutral makeup look right here and it was actually really easy to do but yeah don't forget to like comment and subscribe and yeah let's just get right to it okay you guys let's get started so of course the glasses gotta go <laughs> and i'm starting with skin prep first i'm taking this coast rx snail mucin essence i found this on tiktok a lot of people were raving about it and i've been using it in my skincare routine and i've been loving it so far so i'm starting with that first and then i'm going in with this number seven hyaluronic acid water concentrate to further hydrate my skin i'm really taking the time to prep and hydrate my skin because this is an all matte makeup look so it's going to take a lot of the moisture out of my skin so i'm really prepping and making sure my skin is nice and hydrated and i just went in with this moisturizer from walgreens and then after i apply my moisturizer i'm just taking the makeup revolution hydrating fixing spray and just spraying that all over my face so now we're going into the look i'm starting off with my eyebrows already done and i'm taking my favorite eyeshadow base ever this is the p louise eyeshadow base in the shade number three and i'm just applying that all over my eyes so now i'm going in with my favorite most busted palette ever this is the juvia's place warrior 2 palette this is actually the only palette that i used for this look and i'm going in with that dark brown shade first and i took this with a morphe m506 brush and i'm really just stamping this on my eyelid and creating the eye shape that I want and then afterwards I'm going in with this lighter brown shade called Yodit I believe and I'm taking a Morphe M433 brush and just blending that out so I'm blending it on my skin and also slightly on top of the previous brown that we use just to give a flawless transition and then I'm going in with an Everse either <laughs> what <laughs> i'm then going in with an even smaller brush this is the morphe m507 and i'm taking that charcoal almost black shade and just applying that right in my crease and i do go back and forth between all three colors just to give a nice gradual blend with the pigmentation that i want so now as you can see i left my eye space my eyelid space bare so that we can cut our crease so I'm just going in with the P Louise base again in rumor three and just applying that on my lid and softly cutting my crease So now that we've cut our crease, I'm going in with the shade Canna. It's this grayish beige shade, and I'm just applying that right on top of where we cut our crease. So now just to close off the cut crease, I'm going back in with that charcoal black shade and just blending out the edges of where we applied the canna shade and blending it with our crease. So now I'm going in with this random profusion eyeliner pencil and just lining my upper lid. I'm going for a smoky liner, so I'm just applying that as a base and then I'm going back in with the same charcoal black shade and just smoking that out 
So that's pretty much it for the eyes for now. I'm going to be moving on to skin. So I'm taking my favorite e.l.f. Power Grip Primer and just applying that all over my face and patting it into my skin. Now for foundation, I'm going in with the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation. I'm in the shade Cinnamon. This is a super matte full coverage foundation, so perfect for the look we're going for for today. We're going for matte skin. So after we applied our foundation, now we're moving on to concealer. I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 25 Medium, and I'm just applying that in the usual place that we conceal so forehead bridge of the nose cupid's bow chin and under the eyes and i'm going in with my shop miss a beauty blender and blending that all over my face but yeah y'all it's officially fall i've been like so annoyed like where i'm at it's been raining non-stop <laughs> but i absolutely love fall i love like wearing jackets i'm a jackets person but yeah let me know what you guys look forward to for fall i absolutely love this season it's my favorite season <laughs> but now we're going in and just brightening the areas that I want a little bit brighter so i'm taking the makeup revolution irl concealer in the shade number seven and i'm just applying that in the areas that i want more brightness so right underneath my eyes my forehead cupid's bow chin and bridge of the nose and i'm keeping my blend a lot more tighter so i'm concentrating it right in the areas that i want the brightness because we already applied concealer in the previous step so this is just to give brightness so you just want to concentrate it right in the area that you want the added brightness to be So now that all our liquid products are laid down, now it's time to set everything in place. So I'm going in with the number seven translucent powder and I'm taking it on this triangle powder puff and just applying it on the areas that I applied my concealer. So right underneath my eyes, my smile lines as well my forehead bridge of the nose cupid's bow and chin and then i'm just going in with this fluffy brush and just brushing off the remaining powder right away i'm going to be baking later so i'm just dusting this right off this is just to set not to bake so now I'm going in with my bronzer. This is the Maybelline bronzer in the shade 3 Deep. And I'm just applying that on my cheekbones, forehead, jawline, and nose bridge. Okay, so now we're going to bake. I'm taking my favorite powder to do this. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in the shade 25 Medium. And I only bake the areas that I want to sharpen. So my nose contour, underneath my eyes, and my cheekbones. And I took my powder puff again to do this step. So now we're moving back to the eyes. I'm taking the Wet n Wild Eyeliner Pencil in the shade Black, and I'm just applying that in my waterline. And then I'm going back in with that dark brown shade and just smoking out my lower lash line. So I didn't show it, I'm so sorry you guys, but I'm taking the white in the same Warrior 2 palette and I'm just applying that in my inner tear duct. 
so now I'm going in with my Estee Lauder pressed powder and I'm just using that to dust off where we applied the baking powder Now for blush, I wanted this look to be more bronzy, so I'm just going in with a little bit of blush. This is the Makeup Revolution blush in the shade Pink Lady, just to bring some color to my cheeks, not too much. So I applied my lashes. These lashes I actually got from Sheen. If I can find the link, I'll leave them down below. But now we're moving on to lips. So I cleaned off my lips with a makeup wipe. And now I'm going in with this eyeliner pencil from the brand NK. I got this from the beauty supply store in the shade brown. And I'm just using that to line my lips. So I wanted to go for a nice cool toned lip with this look. So I first went in with this Milani lipstick in the shade Tease and I applied that on my lips first. And just to darken it up a little bit, I went in with this L'Oreal Age Perfect Lipstick in the shade Brilliant Brown. And I wanted the lip line to be a little bit darker so I went in with the Jordana Retractable Eyeliner Pencil in the shade Black and just blended that out a little bit. And then I still wanted it to be a little bit more cool toned so I went in with another lipstick. This is the Juvia's Place Lipstick in the shade Muted and I just applied that right on top. So just to add some hydration back to my skin, I went back in with the Makeup Revolution Hydrating Fixing Spray and just sprayed that all over my face so my face doesn't feel too dry. So now I'm going in with this number seven pressed powder in the shade light. This actually reminds me a lot of the Charlotte Tilbury powder. It's a soft airbrush powder and I'm actually using this as a brightener. So I'm applying it underneath my eyes to brighten it. And then I'm going to be using it as a matte highlight. So just applying it on my cheek not my cheek, my chin, my forehead, and my nose bridge. Now for a final set, I went in with the One Size Fixing Spray and just sprayed that all over my face. And this is the final look. <laughs> So this is the final look you guys, eyes, lips, skin, everything done. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know how you guys like this look in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I love you all so much and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.